Hello folks, here I am again with another video short and this time I invite you to come travel with me on my very first trip to Asia, to Tokyo, Japan to be precise. So here we are, the first day in Tokyo, one hour after arrival, at our first meal at the Kaki Kabukiko um, neighborhood at the Godzilla Road, I believe it was. And this is on the second day um, at our second meal, as you see, sushi and uh, yeah, very typical of Japanese cuisine. And yes, this was different, having orange juice served in the peel of the, of the, of the food, you know. So this was very original and we are on our way to discover the Tokyo Government Metropolitan Building and on our way we first we saw our first temple or shrine Shinto or is it Buddhist? So anyway, so we were struck by the architecture of the building and so we stopped to take a few shots. So in this video, um, well, it's not really a video, it's really a slideshow of, of sites that we found interesting and I have put them together in this format of a video to give you an idea of our first two days in Tokyo. So yes, right now we are at the uh, Tokyo Government Metropolitan Building. You see the building behind us, it's a tall twin uh, building and we plan to go to the 55th floor I believe it is where the observatory is and to have an aerial view of Tokyo so um, yes um, um, so yes we are in front of the building in fact what we did during the day was to go to the Tokyo um, Tourist Information Center and equip ourselves with all the necessary local maps so that we had a more detailed understanding and knowledge of our neighborhood. So the first day was actually exploring our neighborhood on foot and to have a better sense of direction and orientation and to also spot uh, interesting tourist um, attractions or sites to visit uh, on foot so yes now we're up in on the 55th floor I believe it was of the Tokyo government metropolitan building and if, as you see behind me there is this shining building I believe this is the Tokyo Tower and not the Tokyo Sky Tree but it was it was really quite a sight to see Tokyo displayed um, aerially, aerially in front of us and uh, I must say that this was this trip was one of the most meaningful trips for me because it was a gift that I gave to my son. Not only a gift, the gift of discovering an unknown land um, of an unknown culture, people, language, food, but it was a gift for him to understand that yes, this was one of the craziest trips I'd ever done because I'd never been to Asia, I couldn't speak Japanese, I didn't know anybody in Japan, um, but it was a trip that I had planned and I had planned to do and, and I, I wanted to do it alone with my, my adult son, um, uh, my young adult son, for him to learn how to depend on himself because it is a challenge for, um, at least for me, for a woman of color to go alone uh, to a faraway country, culture, where you did not speak the language, you knew nobody there, and you had to depend on yourself, on your instincts, on the knowledge that you have acquired, put together of, of a place, and that getting there, you had to find your way around and, and make the experience memorable. So for me, this was uh, one of the most uh, powerful gifts that I gave to my son was to help him to... Um, 
to help him to understand how he had to de- learn to depend on himself to learn to depend on his instincts to use the information and the education that he has received to be able to achieve whatever it is that he wants to even though the thought or the act of doing what one has planned to do may be frightening to overcome one's fears to find the confidence sometimes when you do not find it or can't find it but still going ahead with with what you plan and this is how you make the leaps and the bounds in in lives and this is how you extend your territory it's not cowering away from your fears but facing them and actually going over and above them by actually plunging throwing yourself into the challenge and this is what i did and uh, it was also an opportunity for me to get to know my son better and for him to get to know me better because sometimes uh, when our children age there can be distances that are created but this brought us even more closer together so this is how we spent the four the first two days and so we couldn't find a table that evening at the observatory but we did have a drink and we did have a dessert our first sample of japanese ice cream i believe um and so it was just a wonderful first two days and so i have put this album together this collection for you to have an idea of the magic that was created and i hope this magical feeling is transmitted through this story so see you in the next episodes bye